okay here we have a quick and dirty test booth for a ignition module it's a dura spark 2 ignition module from a lincoln built in 1979 it's a quite simple setup here we have a distributor this is from it's not a ford distributor it is a mopar distributor from uh, Mopar electronic ignition um, here you can see the small induction coil it is directly connected to the Dura Spark 2 input the purple and the orange wire here we have the red wire for the 12 volt power supply which is connected to the red wire of the Dura Spark. Furthermore we have the green wire which connects the Dura Spark switcher to the ignition coil it's a standard Bosch ignition coil, nothing special and the ignition coil primary is connected to 12 volts via two ballast resistors I took two resistors because uh, only one ohm resistors were available so I recommend to use about uh, 1.5 ohm resistors which are very typical for such kind of application this will avoid the overload of any ignition module to be tested and uh, finally we have a powerful 12 volt DC power supply this looks a little bit shitty but it works okay so let's connect the whole application to 12 volt the spark will start here so when I turn the distributor you can see the sparks I adjusted the gap to approximately one millimeter to avoid overload of the coil and overload of the ignition module and uh, this ignition module is triggered by the small voltage which is generated in this coil when this uh, let's say when these teeth pass by the magnetic center part the center piece of this coil it's a quite simple hookup but uh, it is sufficient to test this kind of ignition module this works for all ignition modules um, which are triggered by um, a small induction coil in the distributor the reason why I had to test this module is because due to a brutal overheat the sealer, the mass which uh, was included in the bottom area of this module uh, drained out due to the overload because the voltage regulator in the alternator failed the voltage was not 12 volts it was about 18 or 20 volts so the whole shit overheated dramatically and uh, it spit out all the mass which was included here uh, this is a uh, original um, Dura Spark 2 module. If you open a remake module, it will look uh, different inside. There is only a very small printed circuit board inside. So these old modules are uh, manufactured uh, the way in the it was typical uh, way in the 70s, adapting the individual parts on a 
printed circuit board which is uh, different from aftermarket modules now so these modules are really reliable they can withstand uh, a very uh, critical abuse without being damaged so I prefer these old original modules to the remakes okay here we have exactly the same setup uh, connected to a Mopar electronic ignition module um, <coughs> the pickup is connected with the two white wires the switcher output of the ignition module is the green wire and uh, the red wire is 12 volt supply it is important to connect the housing of this module to ground there is no wire connection or uh, a connector in the plug for this ground connection so it's absolutely important to do this because um, if you do not ground the module it won't work so uh, and here we have the same test procedure just turn the distributor and uh, the ignition the spark sparks will jump from the high voltage terminal of the ignition coil to one of the primary connectors well that's all and here we have the setup to check an old Bosch ignition module it is called Schaltgerät this is one of the first transistor ignition modules uh, which were introduced uh, by Bosch in the 70s and um, the strange thing of this device is it is not controlled by an inductor it is controlled by points so I do not have to connect um, a distributor to this ignition module to test it I just have to connect the input of the ignition module to ground to simulate the points and uh, this ignition module you can see we only have four wires it's quite simple to hook it up uh, here we have plus 12 volt here we have ground and if I do not bend this away we will have a shortcut in 10 seconds and here we have the green wire which connects to the ignition coil the ignition coil itself connects to plus 12 volts via the ballast resistors um, for these old ignition modules it's very important it's quite important to connect them via ballast resistors because uh, those old transistors the power transistors are not designed for very high currents and uh, if you connect them to a let's say to a new coil with a very low coil resistance uh, you will destroy the power transistor uh, the output stage of this ignition module so anyway this device is in good condition so I'll disconnect this and I'll show you the output stage because this ignition module is not um, it's not sealed you can open it and here you can see the output stage which is uh, bolted on a heatsink inside of this ignition module it is possible to recognize a printed circuit board 
So in case of failure it is possible to repair this ignition module because it's not sealed at all. So I really wonder uh, why it is not sealed because if you install this in a engine compartment and in the winter time you drive the car and you have a lot of water and salt inside the engine compartment uh, I wonder why this device does not fail within a short time so anyway it's one of the first ignition modules Okay, now I'm going to show you how to check uh, a distributor. Here we have the Mopar distributor with the induction coil. The first thing uh, to check, it is very simple to check the resistance of this coil. It should be about 300 ohms, uh, but if you have an, an oscilloscope it is possible to connect the output of this distributor directly to the input of the scope. Here we have uh, the amplitude of 50 millivolts per centimeters, and uh, the time is time base is set to 20 milliseconds. So, if I just turn this distributor by hand, you can see what happens. Uh, it is very easy to realize that this distributor works, it will trigger the ignition module. Um, those pulses uh, have to be converted into a rectangular shape and this is done into the ignition module. The ignition module actually converts this kind of uh, yeah, deformed sine wave into a rectangular wave uh, and uh, powerful with a powerful output.